Hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise the higher, everybody. Praise the higher. One more time, praise the higher from whom all blessings flow. Amen and amen. This is your sister Carrie Ann in the Messiah of the Christ, the Messiah of the Messiah, the Messiah of Nazareth. If you want to know why I call God a higher and the biblical Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Isaiah, I've done a video concerning that one. Greetings to the 12 scattered tribe of Yeshahel. Yeshahel is a name given to Jacob. Jacob's name was not changed to Israel. The proper name is Yeshahel. So I greet all the Hebrew Yeshahelites scattered to the four corners of the earth, all over the diaspora. I greet you all in the matchless name of our soon coming King, Yeshua the Christ, and to the beautiful body of Christ, the church, whom our great King is coming back for without spot, wrinkle, or blemish. I greet you all in his glorious name, Yeshua the Christ. All right, you can skip this bit and find the main message. I am going to do some housekeeping. Remember, my name is Sister Carrie Ann. It is in solid gray border with a tick by the side of my name. And nobody else pretending to be me is a wicked, dirty demon. You need to rebuke and report them. Please watch the video to the end. There's a sinner's prayer there for you. We want you into the kingdom of a higher glory be to the most high. And if I don't say the sinner's prayer, <coughs> sorry, please check the description box or the pinned comment section. You will find it there. All right. Thank you for liking the videos. Thank you for watching the videos. Thank you for sharing the videos. Thank you for going in the comment section and communicating with brothers and sisters. Really, really, absolutely, absolutely appreciate it, brothers and sisters. Thank you so, so very much. Thank you for those of you who have subscribed to the channel. May Ahaya bless you and may this channel be the home of the prophetic for you. Hallelujah. All right. Thank you for those of you, beautiful beloveds in the most Ahaya who have, um, <coughs> sorry who have blessed me through PayPal and also on this platform by hitting the thanks button. Thank you so very, very much. It's been a real help to me, brothers and sisters, your love offering. It really has for many years. Um, you know, and I give the most high, higher glory, honor, and praise for the kindness that some of you, brothers and sisters, have shown to me and shown to this channel. Higher, eternally bless you. Okay. All right. Also, I have a little fundraising going in the form of GoFundMe. You can check it out. It's in the description box or the pinned comment section. Have a look. Have a read. If you feel led to give, you can. If you don't want to give, it's absolutely fine. I still love you just the same. Nothing is changed on this channel. You want me to come and hearing cursing and oh you haven't given no 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 everything everything remains the same uh, but if you feel led to give please do so check the description box or the pin comment section all right <clears throat> we are near we're not only near to the returning of the beautiful messiah Isaiah the christ but we're also near to the revealing of the lawless one the dirty antichrist daniel chapter 7 verse 25 is truth satan through the antichrist will seek to change time laws and seasons it will be given unto him brothers and sisters lawlessness is coming Messiah says pray to be found what absolutely worthy to escape these wicked things coming upon the earth i believe he's talking about the woman in revelation 12 the woman in revelation 12 represents um the woman, she flees into the wilderness. The running into the wilderness represents the second, the great worldwide second exodus. And the woman, with the, she has the 12 stars on her head representing the 12 sons, the seed, the remnant of Jacob that went through the transatlantic slavery. That is a true Hebrew, Yeshaelites. Went through the transatlantic slavery and also scattered throughout the, throughout the parts, throughout parts of Africa. All right, but the most is going to regather his people. It is going to happen. Many people say, Sister Karen, not true, not true, not true. 1948, God went down into Europe and told the Europeans to go back to the homeland, um, Israel. It's not them. If you study, brothers and sisters, you'll find that Europe, well, Europeans are mainly from the Caucasus Mountain. That's why they're called Caucasians. That's why the name is given to them because they're from the Caucasus Mountain, the Caucasian. So to say, you know, these wicked, dirty preachers are preaching and saying, oh, God, this and God, that 1948. It's not true. They're not the true people of the book. It's not them. And the true people of the book are the transatlantic slavers, all right, our ancestors. And we are the byproduct scattered um, throughout the four corners of the earth. The most that is going to rectify that. It really will. All right. After the second exodus, then the sixth seal opens up. That is Yesaya coming in the clouds of glory with power and majesty to pay everybody according to what their work was and what they did on this earth. All right. All right. So after that, um, 
So we have a prophetic theme song called We Are Near and a prophetic banner, We Are Near. Prophetic theme song goes like this. How now you are on now, you are on now, you are on now, oh now you are on now, you are on now, you are on now, hallelujah, yes, we are near, and we can sing that song with Red confidence. Our brothers and sisters have two ministries one for the entire prophetic and one for the Hebrew Yasha Elijah. And this is um uh end time prophetic video. All right, now I, I, I did a video yesterday and I told brothers and sisters that hold on one second, second, I told brothers and sisters that um. I went to Spain, Babylon, Spain, right? Went to Babylon, Spain um, on a four-day four little holiday with my sister and my two nieces. Um, it was a birthday, so we went to, to celebrate. But anyways, brothers and sisters, you know, when I was preparing for Spain a year ago, cause we, they booked it one year in advance. One year in advance, they booked this trip, right? And, um... When you talk about Ibiza, um, you are going into the territory. If you mention the word Ibiza, you're talking about partying. You're talking about clubbing. You're talking about reveling. All right. So to be fair with you, that is what I, um, I thought, um, you know, Ibiza was associated with. But obviously being a born again child of the most high, I've already put my notice in. And told me family, look, yeah, clubbing business, I'm not going to do that. I'll go and enjoy myself. But to say I'm going to go and party. Yeah, sorry about that. Somebody knocked on my door. Where was I? Yes, I, you know, no revelé, no nothing like that. But brothers and sisters, as the time draw, drew closer and closer and closer, um, and I'm thinking about Ibiza in Spain. Not, I know that Spain... Obviously, it's Babylon um, because they had something to do with the slave trade. But I wasn't concentrating on that. Like I say, I wasn't concentrating on that. And in the video that I did yesterday, brothers and sisters, I explain and I express what happened to me in Spain. When I went to Spain, Ibiza, my, I was con my spirit was connected to the earth over there, the land. Hmm. My spirit was connected to the land and it was connected to some of the buildings. Not necessarily the people, people of Spain, but the literal earth, almighty God of creation, we love you, Lord, and some of the buildings. And I couldn't understand it. So when I came back, I did a video yesterday for those of you who watched it concerning what happened to myself in Spain. A lot of things happened. There was... Um, one thing that was really outstanding and it's never happened before and I believe that uh, Revelation is fulfilling where the Most High says that it's going to cause them to come and what uh, that's right worship at your feet because he's always loved you because yesterday that was part of um, the event I call it event part of the event that was going on in, in, in Ibiza when we were there that literal people not the natives of Ibiza not the Spaniards all right or the Spanish people but people from different walks of life really coming up to myself and my family my sister and my nieces and showing us reverence I've never seen anything like that but the most I showed me what was happening so I did a video concerning that so you need to watch that video I might be do a playlist I'm gonna do a playlist um entitled um spain something <laughs> i don't I haven't, I haven't done it yet what i'm gonna do it's gonna have spain spain um spain truth or something like that all right so watch that playlist um okay so why am i doing this video because this is very very important because this is part of the end times and this is part of waking up the people of Ohio. very very important all right um now after i after uploaded that video 
a beautiful couple couple beautiful beloveds in the most that reached out through email and send me a couple links and said sister carrie Ann, you're absolutely correct what you felt in spain what was going on in spain they were saying you're you know you're spot on but the reason why i'm doing this video is because father please let me find it it's because um one of the emails that came through devil is a lie you see that enemy okay one of the emails came through um beloved says, sister karen read this because what people don't understand because when we normally focus on babylon us right it was really babylon wicked babylon we focus on babylon us and babylon uk and babylon you know france and all these babylonian countries that had a part in slave in slavery but brothers and sisters i am telling you babylon spain huh? babylon spain especially the part that's called ibiza listen to me you got to do your research that's why i was connected to the earth because of the innocent blood people don't understand the connection because what it is is that if you are walking in the spirit if you're walking in the holy spirit and you're walking in truth and you're walking in light obviously you're going to see things and feel things not as intense of, as a higher because it won't allow you to feel that because you cannot handle the intensity because you're not god but you're not a higher but what will happen it will allow you a little snippet a little taster just like john the revelator you know a higher only show him things that he could handle because the end time is wickeder than what john saw in revelation so the most I show him things just like Daniel, what he can handle and could handle. So it's the same thing with me in Spain. The most I was showing me and telling me that I'm giving you a little snippet of what happened to my people in Ibiza. Are you listening, church? What happened to my... So that's the reason why my spirit, the spirit man was connected to the earth. Because the blood, the innocent blood of our people through slavery was crying out. It's still crying out. Many people don't believe it, but it is. Every single where in the slave trade, come on, old church. Everywhere where the slave trade happened and our people died innocently, whether it's by sea, whether it's by land, wherever they died, brothers and sisters, I am telling you, that their blood in 2024 is crying out. And if you're connected to higher, you will realize that. Now, before I go into what I was, what I'm about to say, um, as I was preparing for this video, I'm, I'm not really a big fan of Babylon US to be fair with you, but I did say if I wanted, if I want to go, if I, I did say if I'm going to go to Babylon US, I want to, I want to do want to visit um <clears throat> new york even though i have families i've got brothers over there a, bro a brother living over there in babylon he's always say oh come and visit me sis and i will uh, at some point but as i was doing this video i and i've never said this to higher and this 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 state has never come in my spirit like it's not <clears throat> sorry it's not a state that, you know, if somebody is giving me a free ticket to visit Babylon, U.S., and they say to me, oh, choose which state. This state would never come in my spirit. Like, I would, I don't, it's, yeah. But as I was preparing for this video, hmm, I found myself asking the most, I, please, please, Ahaya, I want to visit Alabama. Deep, isn't it? Because people are not connected to the earth. If you're not connected to the ground, you're not going to understand what's going on. <coughs> Sorry, brothers and sisters. You're not going to understand what's going on. Because I had a, because I had an experience in Ibiza. So that's why I can talk. Because my spirit, and I didn't do it. It's just that the spirit man inside of me literally connected to the earth. It connected to some of the buildings that our people built. And I said to the most uh, I want to visit Alabama. I want to visit Alabama. And now, like I say, if you ask me, sister, I wouldn't, I would never 
tell you that I want to go to Alabama. Like, I would probably say New York, Miami, you know, California, not Alabama. But my spirit, there's something in my spirit that is crying out that these feet need to touch Alabama. Why? Because uh, the blood of our ancestors are crying out. Not only in Alabama, obviously, but everywhere in Babylon, U.S., where there is slave trade going on. When I go to London, I used to live in London, mind you, you know, when I came from Jamaica. But obviously, my, you know, um, I didn't understand. I was 17 at the time. So talking about this was like, this is, yeah, I didn't understand certain things. But I went to London the other day. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. I went to London the other day and I took my kids there. And remember, I said that I lived in London before I, I moved up to where I'm living now part of the country but when I went to London about a month and a half ago it was totally different why why was it different it's the same London right it was different because there was a connection and my children felt it as well they were connected to London but I didn't understand what was going on I think because yes you know we're living in London before and all of that so I didn't pay much attention but the connection the connection to London was there. And why is that? It's not because I love London and, you know, what have you. But it's the blood of the, of the ancestors. That's the connection, the crying out. So when you as a Hebrew, come on, O oh church. When you as a Hebrew, Yeshahelah, walk these paths or these country where our people were massacred. Wrong word, but yeah. Was massacred. Their blood is attached to you. So your spirit man is connected to the earth. Have you been to some trees? I don't know. Like, because there were a lot of hanging as well. There were a lot of hanging as well, you know, in, the, in, in, in slavery time. And oops, daisy. And some of these trees, can, if they could speak, they would speak. I'm telling you, brothers and sisters, if they could speak, if they could speak these trees, they would absolutely, absolutely speak. But it's a connection. Because your spirit man is connected to the most high. Come on now. So he's going to show you truth. But when I went to London and I, and I said it to my children. And you know, I said, I, I just feel so connected. But it's not really a connection to, to the people. It's to the literal earth. It's what's going on in the earth. It's the innocency of the blood. Because remember that Babylon, UK had a hand in the slave trade. And there were people, yes, they came to London. You know, our ancestors were brutally killed down there in Babylon, London, Babylon, UK. Right? So that's the, that's the connection. But, um, but when I went to Spain, brothers and sisters, and I did a little research, and I thank this beautiful beloved for sending me this article because they watched the video. And that's what I love with this channel. Because sometimes I don't have a enough time to do the research. But other brothers and sisters who listen to the channel will say, Sister Karen, you're absolutely correct. And I thank you because we're, we're learning part. We're prophesying part and we're learning part, right? So, <clears throat> captives of slaves. Captives or slaves. Well, slaves. They are slaves in Ibiza. So, back in the day, Ibiza in Spain was called Ivisa, E-I-V-I-S-S-A, Ivisa, but they've changed it to Ibiza, maybe because of the horror that went on down there in Ibiza, they have to change it, because it's the, it's the remembrance of what the people did to our ancestors, right, and mind you, it's not, it's not only Ibiza, Spain, um, that had a hand in the slave trade is all of Spain. But I believe that Ibiza was like the main, was like the main culprit. That section, that little island was the main culprit um, concerning the slave trade, right? Um, the captivity of slavery in the land of, uh, in the island of Ibiza, right? Um, from the time of the conquest until the end of the century. Um, captives were used to cultivate and harvest vineyard and to labor on public buildings. That's what I said to you, didn't I? What did I say to you? I said I was connected. 
I said they were connected to the earth, not the people it, and the buildings. I know what I'm talking about because I know what I feel and what I felt. And here they're saying that our people, our ancestors who went through slavery, right? Who went through slavery, um, they were used um, to cultivate vineyards and to what? And to build, to build public buildings. There's a castle down there in Ibiza, Spain. And who built it? It's our people, our ancestors. When I went to that castle, brothers and sisters, I could feel the connection. I could feel the connection of our, of our people. It was strong, very, very strong, very, very strong in Ibiza with me. And um, so, so here's here's the thing now. Here's the thing. You see, the, Spain cannot deny that they weren't in the slave trade because it's documented. And number one and number two, they cannot deny that they didn't kill our people off. Because then the argument could be easily, 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 easily. The argument easily could be, well, if you did not kill our people, where are they? Because certainly if you bought them over, because... I'm going to read it in a bit anyways, but if, if it's a case where Spain said, you know what, you ever want to help in the whatever century it was, we want to help these people, we were just fine, you guys were just wicked and come down into, into Africa and did what you did to our people, we were doing just fine. But anyways, um, but if it's a case where Babylon, Spain says, you know what, yeah, we want to help these people, let them do this, then if you look down in Spain in 2024, you would, should see loads and loads and loads and loads of black people. That's not the case. It's most of Caucasians. So where are the black slaves? They died. They killed them. I have to know history, brothers and sisters. That's why the blood is crying out. Let me repeat that one more time. If it was a case, because when you read, it's the amount of slaves that Spain took from Africa was, uh, it was in the millions. So where are those millions of slaves? It was children, men, women, pregnant women that brought on the slave ship to Spain. So where are those people? Where are, where are our people? Because certainly if, they, if it's a case where they were mingling with the Spaniards, then you should look down into Spain in 2024 and see loads and loads and loads and loads and loads of black people. But that's not the case. Like I said, they're all Caucasians. So where are the black people? They've been murdered, brothers and sisters. And they're not talking about these things. But when I went to Ibiza, the most I opened up my eyes and showed me what was happening, what took place in Ibiza. And people think that these countries are just going to, you know, just because they're well developed and you go and you have your holiday. And don't get me wrong. I'm going back to Ibiza by the grace of the Most High. I don't know when, but the Lord is pushing me to go back because he's not done with me yet. And <clears throat> when I was there on my holiday, on the four days holiday, it was lovely. It was relaxing because obviously it's a holiday, isn't it? It's a holiday. You don't have to cook, you don't have to, the kids didn't come. And you, you just have that relaxation. And because through that relaxation, Ahaya was able to open up my eyes to see certain things. But it's still wicked. Let's not forget that. Just like Babylon US. Just because Babylon US and Babylon France and Babylon UK is well developed. And everything is also beautiful and easily accessed and good job. They're still wicked. And they're going to pay. That is the thing. You know, they're going to pay for what they've done to the highest people. To what they've done to our ancestors. So, <coughs> sorry brothers and sisters. So, that is what the most I showed me, right? Um, so the Spanish Empire, and I want you to listen to this because this is very, very important. The Spanish Empire enslaved people of, 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 from Africa. The Spanish often depended on others to obtain and enslave Africans and trans 
export them across the Atlantic. I'm telling you, <clears throat> this is deep. This is very, very deep. Ahaya cannot lie. Ahaya never lies. Brothers and sisters, what these people have done, and when you read into history concerning Spain, they were part of 